Well, it is no wonder two sisters from mid-Missouri have a unique and special bond. As children, they shared bone marrow to help save one of their lives. In tonight's Fox Files, how 25 years later, they're sharing another gift in hopes of helping one give life. And their doctor says it could be a world's first. That was right after I found out that I had leukemia. Melanie Elder was two and a half when she was diagnosed with leukemia. The local newspapers and neighbors in her hometown of Hallsville, Missouri, noted her struggle. That was my benefit and then my aunt and uncle sang at it. At age five, doctors decided Melanie needed a bone marrow transplant. Her eight-year-old sister, Melissa, was a perfect match. Looking back still stirs emotions. Anytime you see your sister or a sibling, go through such a horrible illness. It's, it's really sad. The transplant worked. The local newspapers noted that too. And that sisterly love grew over the years. Seems like the, the older we get, the closer we get. And it's, it's amazing and I'm very blessed. It was such a blessing that, that it ended up the way that it did. But the story is not quite over. There she is. We're all waiting for you. Melanie, now 30, was left sterile by the cancer treatments. Dr. Sherman Silver, head of the Infertility Center of St. Louis at St. Luke's Hospital, hopes to fix that by transplanting healthy ovarian tissue. We've already taken uh, one of the ovaries out of her older sister. From 33-year-old Melissa, now a mother of four and a perfect match. Melanie approached her after finding Dr. Silver on the web. And I'm like, great, this is wonderful. You know, I'm, you know, she needs, you know, every family should be blessed with, with a child of their own. It's such a good ovary. We'll, we'll be freezing even more than half of it because there's so much tissue there, which is just wonderful, a lot of eggs. The excess ovarian tissue is frozen and preserved in liquid nitrogen, available if Melanie should need a future transplant. That way we keep a young ovary, you know, I mean, it's not, it's not going to be getting older as you get older, it'll still be, you know, 33-year-old uh, ovaries. Dr. Silver has done ovarian transplants between identical twins that produced babies. Also in women who have had an ovary removed and frozen before cancer treatment, then transplanted back. But a birth with non-identical sisters would be a first. That is very unique, and this will be the first case in the world of that. And Dr. Silver is confident it will work. Much of that confidence rooted in that bone marrow transplant years ago, when Melissa's bone marrow took over for Melanie's. There shouldn't be any difficulty because they have exactly the same immune system and DNA fingerprinting is identical. The two-hour operation went well. Let me get a hug here. Now Dr. Silver <laughs> delivers the good news to Melanie's mom and dad and husband Josh, who's seated. Uh, everything looks great. We're very, very happy and very excited about it. I'd be shocked if she's not ovulating in four months. That doesn't guarantee pregnancy. But uh, she should have the same chance of pregnancy that uh, anybody else would have, uh, you know, at 33, because it is a 33-year-old ovary. That's enough for the sisters, who beat the odds once and have high hopes. Just to be the best aunt I can be. I'm just excited for the future. <laughs> what do you look forward to in the future? What do you think? I look forward to having a family. I'll let you know if Melanie gets pregnant and has a baby. Insurance considers such transplants fertility treatments and won't pay. Dr. Silber argues that they should be covered as part of the woman's cancer therapy. So he and St. Luke's will cover the $6,000 to $8,000 cost. This story continues on Fox2Now.com with more on Dr. Silber's comments on the insurance controversy. Okay, we want you to come back with great news about Melanie and that she is pregnant. That well, is incredible. That would be uh, great news. These sisters, of course, have got that strong bond mm -hmm. forged through what all they've mm -hmm. been through. And, and Melanie told me, she said, you know, she has looked into ado adoption and knows mm -hmm. that is an option, yeah. but wanted to try this first to see if she could make it work. So what we'll a see. bond. That, yeah. is, that is an amazing yeah. bond.